In order for something to start breeding, the ground, the atmosphere, the surrounding, the ambience must be right. There must be some sort of ingredients mixing with other ingredients to bring about this breeding ground. Friends, it's unity when it comes to spiritual blessings. Psalms 133 clearly makes that statement come to life. It starts off with how good and how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. Unity, the key word. And it ends up in verse 3 as saying, For the Lord commanded a blessing. That's right. Indeed, unity is the breeding ground for your blessing. I go right back, friends, to the favorite epistle that I'm right now reading and enjoying every moment of it. Ephesians chapter 3. Well, going into chapter 4. Here Paul is writing about unity in the body of Christ. Yes, friends. And he goes, if it wasn't important, he wouldn't have written it. Therefore, I, a prisoner for serving the Lord, beg you to lead a worthy life of your calling, for you have been called by God. What a way to introduce the subject of unity. And here are the ingredients for that unity in the body of Christ. You can apply this in your family. You can apply this even in your career that you're in, your business. Friends, the epistles speak to us, I always say. Verse number 2 of chapter 4. Always be humble and gentle. I can't explain that any further. It's so simple, straight to the point, but yet so effective. Be patient with each other, making allowances for others' faults and failures. Because of your love, that's it, there goes another ingredient, love. Verse 3 again so clearly sums up all this. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the Spirit. Amen. And when that happens, Paul says, binding yourselves together with peace. For there is one body, one Spirit. Amen. One body, one Spirit. One glorious hope for the future. One God, one faith, one baptism. And the Father of all, aren't you glad? Yes, friends, unity, a simple spout word with a great meaning. How often, in, even in our daily lives, we overlook that simple word, unity. Now you know why the blessings are not flowing, because there is discord. There is division, the opposite of unity. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, Daddy, we come again in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, we are all guilty of sowing seeds of discord. And sometimes, Dad, we just can't get on with the other people. But your word in Ephesians is instructing us always to be humble and gentle, patient, making allowances for faults of for the faults of others daddy help us to in, to instill that, those qualities in our lives so that we would come up and lead that christ life portrayed to the world and most importantly we live it because we love you father we recognize there's one body one spirit one god and the father of all that is you. Where we fail you, try us again, Father. And I pray today that the unity that we would display, and as your word says, would command that blessing. I speak it, I declare it in that mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Friends, once again, I can only but say, and as I flip the pages of this beautiful epistle, unity is the breeding ground for your blessing. Until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels, praying that you remain touched and changed. In Jesus' mighty name, stay blessed. 